So each city is electronic common technical document. But as per my understanding, there are three misunderstandings. Mm. What are those? There are three misunderstandings about CTD. CTD common. The CTD is not common between Europe and US. So are you with me? CTD is not common for Europe and US. Mm. Why is it so? Because of regional differences. Mm. So Europe has model one different, right? Whereas US also has model one different. So you have seen and you will better seen during your practice. Okay. Then technical. Technical means data related and includes clinical and safety data, not only quality data. That means technical word matters. Right? So again, CTD is a common technical document where the technical word matters because it comprises not only uh, technical data, it is clinical and safety data. Okay? Then word document, a better term would have been document. If we are talking about the dossier has to be compiled as per CTD format, then the proper term would have been dossiers. So what is not common? Data sets for Europe and US differs in many instances. That is level of details and additional topics for either US or Europe. So it talks about only formats. So CTD is only formats. You got my point? So always be organized. If you are not organized, you will have such type of situation. So do you like to be have to have such type of situation? No. no. So if you are not properly organized, your dossier reviewer may get frustrated, irritated and confused. Like this. Right? So always learn that CTD or E C T D triangle, which is again it comprises of five modules. Module 1, Administrative, Module 2, is Quality Overall right. Summary, Module 3 is CNC Data, Module 4, Non-Clinical, Module 5 clinical. is Clinical. So you should buy hard. Mm -hmm. So what is an ECTD from the regulatory perspective and technical perspective? What is regulatory perspective? The ECTD is defined as an interface for industry to agency transfer of regulatory information by at the same time taking into consideration the facilitation of the creation, review, life cycle management and archival of electronic submission. So how it helps? It helps right from the creation, review, life cycle management and archival of electronic submission. So that is what? regulatory perspective. If we talk about technical perspective, it is structured set of folders, right? And it contains PDFs, Word and SAS. SAS is what? Statistical Analysis System files, right. And it also contains index.xml as US Regional XML and US Regional XML. It also mm -hmm. contains checksums study tagging files and DTD and style sheet to support that XML backbone. Okay, so this, see looking at this definition, it, you will find it very difficult. But when you learn, you know, term by term, it will be easy for you to understand. So coming back to ECTD in a simple word is what? The ECTD backbone is an XML file representing the structure of the submission. It includes links to files and other metadata such as checksum. Okay? The ECTD backbone is always an XML backbone. Okay? And which represents the structure of the submission. It includes links to files and other metadata such as checksum. So if you see the granularity of CTD or ECTD, it is always linked with one with the other file. It is called intralink or hyperlink. Interlink means within the document. Interlink, hyperlink means out of the document. Okay. So these are the folders and files. Okay. When you submit CTD, it will always have a six-digit ANDA number. Okay. And then it will have what? Your original application that is Tetra 0, oh. 0, 0, 0, 0. And then these are the folders model 1, model 2, 3, 4, 5. And there will always be one util folder automatically generated because of the backbone. 
the external backbone it is a it requirement okay but it is your duty to check whether our uh, dossier is creating the xml backbone whether it is uh, having index.xml file whether it has util folder or not so this is a structured set of document okay these are the folders and files so why go electronic tell me there are three reasons first is quality second is cost third is environmentally responsible so quality means you have you get better quality entire life cycle of the product is covered because when you submit you just think about the nda where 15 years data goes into that nda application how you are going to remember how you are going to compile can you think about it and can you think about the reviewer who is sitting and reviewing the whole dossier can you think can you imagine because of this ectd the reviewer job has become easier and the time taken to market your product yes, is yes. faster right so quality cost and environmentally friendly what environmentally friendly is what see save a tree NC is approximately 240000 pages means paper for this would have been 672 kg one NC NC is new chemical entity so which is equivalent to one average tree so you can you imagine an entire tree is required to submit a single copy of the application form and one applicant to one health authority so there are so many health authority to 57 countries then how many applications how many drug product can you imagine how many trees would have been cut so how environmentally friendly right so nowadays in under each email yeah. you can see don't take print out you know to save our environment to protect our environment that is the reason this electronic world is coming up and pharmaceutical industry is also behind this electronic submission and that is why you are also here to learn ecd right so there are different types of electronic submission one is nis format that is non ecd electronic submission which contains scanned version of paper submission without backbone and this would where at ecd it contains documents in intelligent pdf or jpg or gif format big folder or tree structure and has xml backbone so xml backbone is very important when we are talking about ecd this means means what the whole dossier is scanned and sent yeah the whole dossier is prepared in uh, uh, ecd format okay ctd format what what we have uh -huh. covered that module 1 2 3 4 5 okay then the document are organized and converted into pdf the scan scan the scan uh -huh. of a pdf in okay. those pdf has organized but it doesn't create the xml backbone this is xml oh. backbone what is xml backbone this is the xml backbone. okay if you see see these are the section specification you can see specification yeah. this is analytical procedure you see yeah. so such type of backbone is generated when you use software ecd software the electronic version okay it's a kind of index no what you say no no this no. is xml backbone it is not an index not no. okay it is a coding or the language used by the programmer Okay. For us, this is important. So, so no, 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 no. So it is just for your understanding. Okay. Don't go into demo. Okay, it will be automatically created. Yeah, the XML backbone. Yes, yes, yes. But XML backbone is very important. If anything goes wrong, like I said in the morning, if you type X from the keyboard and instead of multiplication oh, symbol, your XML backbone will be hampered, and your publishing failure will be there, and your dossier will not be submitted. So you will get the validation error. No, okay. Uh, no, I have a query. Like, will we come to know this error? Yeah, before sending. That is why you are here not to learn. So yeah. why my uh, submission is not going ahead? There is a validation ah. error. Okay. In sure. Was, because before submission there are so many checks. So during this quality check and validation, the validation error will appear. Okay. 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 
and if you are unable to rectify the always it person is there always the person who has developed that software he is there to help you out okay okay if anything goes wrong in the submission from the you know technical perspective regulatory perspective or technical perspective there are two perspectives you have seen yeah. right so you have to but you should be aware of being a regulatory professional you should come to know ki why it has happened due to what reason right so e submission an electronic submission or e submission is a set of registration file submitted in electronic forms during an approval or variation or renewal procedure so there are different types of application right variation renewal as i said earlier it could be a set of files that is portable document as pdf mm -hmm. or rtf or jpg or png usually submitted in folders according to the current papers cited in guidance or file structure and organized to the specification for each okay 